New Zealand is a country that seemingly has it all. In this series, I'll be taking you along every step of the way as we explore the best this country has to offer via road, rail, trail, bike, bus and boat. I'll be explaining its geology, wildlife and history, reviewing its many attractions and offering tips and advice for your own travels to this enchanting land. In this episode, we head into the Southern Alps, through torrential rain to breathtaking lakes and mountain drives. We enjoy the sun in Wanaka, at night in one of New Zealand's oldest hotels, before racing down Queenstown's luge. Good morning. We've woken up in Haas to absolutely bucketing it down with rain. Today we're heading into the mountains, uh, hoping to see some waterfalls and lakes on the way. But obviously that's depending on the weather and whether it brightens up a bit. It is meant to get sunnier this afternoon in the mountains where we're heading, so let's hope for that. So it's absolutely tipping it down still. We're at Thunder Creek Falls, I believe. And I'm just going to do a recce to see what the falls look like by the other stay in the car. And just up the road, this waterfall is Fantail Falls. Now it's really heavily raining now, so I don't think we're going to stay here for long. Lake Wanaka, a huge lake in the valley uh, where the sun is starting to pierce through and beautifully light up the hills on the other side of the lake. And this is a massive lake, so the wind really builds up and blasts you, but it is a beautiful spot. lake along Lake Hawea and it is absolutely stunning I don't have words to describe it I've recorded this clip several times trying to describe it but it is just beautiful these lakes are formed by ancient glaciers that carved out the rock here uh, so they're very deep lakes but they're also the bluest of blue with the mountains in the background and just spectacular just arrived in Wanaka to get some lunch and this is the biggest sign of civilization we've had in days. We struggle to park with so many people around here. And it looks like a lovely little village on the side of Wanaka Lake, the other end from where we were earlier. So I'm um, looking forward to eating because I'm quite peckish now. Down at the waterfront here in Wanaka, it is gorgeous with the uh, lake lapping up on the beachfront and the mountains in the distance. And it's so warm and nice here because the rain clouds come in off the sea, hit the mountains, and as you can see in the distance, they just release all their rain in the mountains, leaving this place relatively sunny and warm. Harriet's done the ultimate must do when traveling. She's got some traveling Thailand trousers. Damn! Damn, girl! <laughs> what? Are you eating it? Wow! <laughs> We 
we've just arrived at our accommodation for the night at Cardrona Hotel. Now this place lies about halfway between Wanaka and Queenstown and it was established over 150 years ago and it's still got that very old worldy vintage stagecoach feel to the facade and that's led to it apparently being the most photographed building in New Zealand. And you can see why, because it looks lovely and the inside is just as nice. So we're going to go round the back and enjoy the beer garden and this gorgeous weather here in the valley this evening. Well, I'm absolutely loving this place. The uh, hills surrounding it, the sun, the fantastic locally brewed beer, and you know, all the styling of this place is just wonderful. Riding a bike, riding a horse. No. See it on a seesaw? Yeah. Yes. I'm never going to get this one. Brim, brim, yeah. car. The driveway. <laughs> This morning we're making the small trip to Queenstown and we've stopped on the Crown Range Pass which is the highest sealed road in New Zealand for these fantastic views down the valley and in the distance you can see Queenstown just by the lake. And a couple minutes down the road this is another fantastic vantage point of the valley. So we've been in Queenstown for only five minutes and I've already nearly run over a mountain biker and been landed on by a paraglider. So it's living up to its name as being the adventure capital. So unfortunately we're not in Queenstown long enough to really do many of the adventurous things. But what we are doing is we're heading up on the skyline gondolas and then there's a luge track at the top. It's such a great atmosphere up here. You've got mountain bikers going past on the hills, you've got people going down on the loose track, there's someone bungee jumping next to you, or people going out paragliding over the cliff edge. And all the time you've got these amazing views over Queenstown and the lake. It really is cool. We're now gonna head out and do our first go on the luge. The luge was so much fun. It was basically two tracks. The first was kind of a practice track, which was a bit slower and um, had less sharp corners, but it was still very fun. And then there was the faster uh, track with big dips, uh, lots of corners where you could really build up speed and race each other, cutting each other's corners, and it was loads and loads of fun. And now we're just grabbing some food, having some ice creams, and enjoying the spectacular view from up here. Well, before leaving Queenstown, we thought we'd just come and quickly check out Queenstown Gardens, which is a little peninsula jutting out from the town onto the lake. and Queenstown are some of the most popular resort towns in New Zealand and you can see why the Southern Alps pretty much encapsulate the image of New Zealand with beautiful mountain drives, waterfalls and forests providing a backdrop to laid back lakeside towns packed full of adventurous sports and activities. There is so much to see and do you could quite happily spend an entire trip in the region especially with accommodation as wonderful as the Cardrona Hotel. 
In the next episode, we'll be heading further south, taking the long scenic drive to one of New Zealand's most famous but remote attractions, a boat tour through the epic cliffs of Milford Sound. Cass gonna have a go driving. This might be the last, drive. the last vlog I ever do. What the hell? You're a dickhead. It'll be the last vlog you ever do because I'm gonna smash that camera.